looked at what is dementia. I want to talk about dementia being really a set of symptoms. It's a set of symptoms that includes loss of memory, problems with understanding, and problems with judgment. It is not a disease, but if you will, a set of symptoms that accompany a disease. Alzheimer's disease is the most common of this, like 60, 65% of irreversible progressive dementias. There are some things that are reversible and we need to have medical assessment to make sure that you're dealing with actually something that may be reversible or irreversible. You know, it is a disease of the brain. It's a, a neurological disorder. And what I want people to understand too, it is not a normal part of aging. Um, I want to show that, you know, this is this umbrella of dementia. Again, Alzheimer's being the most common type. There's close to 100 different types of progressive irreversible dementias. And we're learning more every year. And people are getting better at diagnosing. And what they're better, why this is important is because there are inter different interventions um, for the different types of diseases that we're dealing with here. So, and I want you to particularly pay attention to a couple of things. The vascular dementia, which we have researched and we have, the world has saw, seen that if we make an intervention here with vascular dementias, we can significantly reduce um, dementia. And this goes back to that landmark study because there are things that we can do physically. There are things we can do socially, diet-wise, challenging your brain, keeping learning new activities and not staying involved in your community, limiting um, alcohol use and, and preventing head injuries. All of these things, and we'll talk a little bit more detail about it, all of these. What the landmark study showed is that if you do um, reduce the incidence, if you will, even by putting off the development of Alzheimer's disease by 10 years, we can effect effectively in Canada avoid close to 4 million people living with dementia. So really what I want you to understand, and I'm not going to dwell too much on this, is that the changes or the symptoms that you see with someone who is living with dementia or any of the like Alzheimer's disease or frontal temporal, it's rooted in the changes that are going on in their brain, which is why some people, because of the type of dementia that they have, it may present a little differently. So, you know, people with a frontal temporal dementia are not necessarily going to present with a bad memory. They will have behavior issues or judgment problems where someone who has Alzheimer's disease may have a significant problem with their communication skills. And those may show up fairly early. Music